There we go. Welcome, welcome to Connecticut stream, where, which is the normal time that we play Death Road to Canada. Uh, all right. Oh yeah, I do still have a bunch of my characters. Well, we already loaded in Haruka. Um, our, uh, our, our cowboy, our Canadian cowboy is gonna get, uh, her, her buddy, uh, Is it click to do it? There we go. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Harka's gonna escort Jeremy to Canada. I've managed to win Deadlier Road once, and it didn't work out. You know what? Uh, uh let's do let's do standard familiar faces and see if we can't get through. Harka hears rumors that Canada is a safe place free of zombie threat with nothing to gain uh, from winning in Florida. She decides to brave the death road. And hopes that things will finally go her way. Every time I leave the game, it's gonna freeze, so I apologize for that. Uh, let's hit the road, Jack. And never come back. No more. No more, no more, no more. You rocked deadlier once. I not rocked deadlier once. And that's because I had a really good party for it. Uh, oh, we don't have a lot of good options here. Let's try the quiet rest stop. I need to bump up these tunes on my end. You ever done a drinking game with Death Road? I should at some point, but I, I do not. Jeremy is a big bruiser, and I think he's also berserk. Yeah. So his strength is, like, maxed out. I might make an event of that. See if I can get other people to play with me over, like, um, over, um, like the Steam Connect. Haruka has good wits, terrible attitude, and decent morale. Jeremy is strong, can shoot, and, um, pretty fit. I think I'm gonna have Jeremy lead, actually. Just for, like, the, the, the prospect of being good in combat like that. You know what? This fits Jeremy's character really well, actually, because of, um... Because in, uh... What was the series called? Achievement Haunter. Uh, his character's goal was to punch ghosts. So, this is a close second. I don't know if Jeremy's got the big beard anymore. I should probably update some of these characters. Right now, they're kind of a time capsule of how they looked when I first made them. 1 HP. He doesn't have 1 HP anymore. I gave him Big Bruiser, which gives him an extra, um, extra hit point. Wait, was there another room in there, or was that just a turret? That was indeed just a turret. If nothing else, Jeremy's doing this for America. Didn't work out as well as I hoped it would. Arka, Jeremy can only do so much. I need you on the attack here. Good talk, Haruka. We're starting with a chainsaw? Let's see how that goes for us. Bingo! Uh, Death Gift, thank you for the 35 months of Tier 1. Cool of you, my brosif. How's, uh, how are audio levels, by the way? I think the I think I might be a little bit quiet compared to normal, but we'll, we'll see. Rip gas? Was there gas in there that I missed? No, I got it. Audio's good? Okay, cool. Oh, I'm, I got the scissors, but it, but I'm running with them, so it's probably not great. Oh, we started off with a with a bum car, it seems, or just bad luck in starting it up. 
Oh, we're future gas dude a chainsaw. Good point. So only Jeremy... I mean, like, it's morning and there's a moose outside camp. Bingo! Jeremy wrestles the moose. All, so basically, Jeremy just wrestled with Haruka, basically. I can hear her voice echoing to me. I'm not a moose! A man in makeshift armor made from athletic gear is standing uh, in the middle of a narrow wooden bridge on the road. He's wearing boxing gloves, staring forward into the car. Suddenly blocks the way past. Plow the car through him, fight him one-on-one, -on -one, or uh, tell the sentinel to cool it. I wonder if this is just a strength check. Because if it is, then Jeremy's got this. Let's see if I get Jeremy killed. It works! Uh, Jeremy duly charges right at the sports gear armor man, tackles him at the waist, and tosses him over the bridge. Splash. I thought the aggression was irradiated for a second. Go to a gun shop or a bar? I think the gun shop might be better. Yeah, because we don't have any guns currently. Jeremy can wield his rusty, trusty cleaver, and Haruka, as the, uh, as the fearless Canadian visiting Florida, uh, as all, as all Canadians do when they, uh, when they visit, uh, the United States, she brought her hatchet along. Hit the wrong button. Hatchet and cleave. Eh, we don't need to be here. The more zombies we fight, the more likely our weapons are gonna break. I had. I think I need to buy blackout curtains for my bedroom back home, because I had the best night's sleep I ever had last night. And when I woke up in the morning, I was well, I actually woke up in the afternoon because I got back I got we got into my parents' house around 2 a.m. And uh Yeah, I slept like a long after that. And uh when I woke up in the afternoon, I wasn't sure what time it was! Dippin' Dots? Yeah. They're pretty... Uh, they're not worth the price tag, but they're pretty neat. I think the only gun that's in here is a lone pistol. Okay, there we go. Haruka under a trusty cowboy hat. There's a, there's a good chance that, uh, that... Haruka will just get the, uh, the, the axe again. The, uh, the, the gamer axe. Again, with Dippin' Dots, I think they're good, but not worth the price tag. I forgot to make an announcement on Discord about the stream. Um, so I just, I made the tweet with the hashtag Tom comment, and eventually it'll go up on the Discord. Lacko curtains are awesome, yeah. <laughs> Stepped on somebody's organ going into a room, yeah, a room, yeah. Throw it at all of the zombies here. They're really crowding up around the door, yeah. Pick up the bed, I can't pick it. Pick up the bookshelf, my dude. Run down here, and run in there. Sweep them up, sweep up the zombies, my dude. Gotta run out of here right now, the rain has come. Rain here. I know it's from Joshua Slowpoke saying, you know those uh, nets people in Africa put around their uh, beds to keep mosquitoes away, something like that? 
I need something like that, but blackout curtains. I have too many electronics in my room for blackout curtains on the window to do anything. Ah, I see. It's been a nice visit back at my parents' house. Not only do I get to see my, uh, my mom, dad, and my sister, but, uh, my brother, his wife, and my nephew are visiting. A group? The group sets up camp late at night on the highway... Nearby, a bunch of abandoned cars are broken. Uh, but many should have a little bit of gas, since someone have to siphon the gas. Jeremy has really good morale, but I need him in tip-top condition for when we fight. Gain the gas might be worth I'm gonna have Haruka do it. Her morale goes down, but we get a lot of gas, and I think she's tired the next morning. Oh, no. Bandits appear all wearing sweatbands and all super buff, even their dog. They demand protein powder. They'll all also accept the remainder of your food and a quarter of your ammo and medical supplies. Make poses with me! Jeremy duly challenges the bandits to a pose off. He does an incredible flexing routine honed by training. The bandits clearly lose and have to let them go due to the bodybuilder's code. Haruka's morale goes up. Outside of Canada, most society and civilization is destroyed, but you can still find people engaging in trade with preserved food being the new currency. Let's visit a trader camp and see who's there. Oh god, it's a fire sale! I've gotten many, uh, many an ally killed this way. 50 bolts for 3 food, bow and 50 arrows for 6 food. This is all I can do, huh? I'll take the bullets. These deals are so hot they might catch on fire. Yeah, if I get if I don't uh, path my troops around here in a safe and decent manner, then they're gonna catch on fire too. Make poses with me. This car is a ticking time bomb. Whoa, it's Gavin Free. So I see a familiar face. He's yelling at some survivors because they made fun of his hair. Is one of those survivors named Jeff Ramsey? We have plucked Gavin free from Jeff Ramsey. I know Canada will be any better than here. Haruka, it's your home country. Siege alert. Good thing we got Gavin with us. Uh, alright. So, broom be gone. What does Gavin have? Irritating and surgeon. I can't believe how well I made Gavin's kid. I also like how... So, fun fact. I actually made the AH crew... Because I went over to their office one time to record, um... Uh... What was it? TTT with them one time, and I was like, Hey, why don't we try Death Row to Canada? Um... It didn't go very well, so they didn't, uh, they didn't use the recording, but, like... Uh... <laughs> I, I was, I was pulling it up, and, uh, and... Like, one of them looked over, and I was like, Wait a minute, did you make all of us? And I was like, yeah, look! I, I, I was like, look, I, I made, uh, I made, um, it was kind of based on memes at the time, so I made Jeremy as short as possible in the game. Uh, and, uh, I think that was also around the time when people were uh, saying that Alfredo and, uh, and Trevor looked alike. So, I, I made Alfredo and Trevor look the exact same, just different skin tones. I think I'm gonna give Haruka the gun because she's tired. Maybe switch the hatchet for the knife. Oh, no, wait. Uh, Miss Karibu. Take the knife. Mr. Dooley. Alright, let's enter here and see what we can find. We got a, we got a board with some wood in it. Shotgun shells, another board, a shotgun! I think the nail board might be a good investment in combat here because, uh... Jeremy can recover from using it very quickly. On top of that, I think he can hit multiple zombies at once with it. Mega cheesed. And if it breaks, we got a second one. Trying to let Jeremy's, uh, uh... 
Jeremy's stamina refill. At some point, some of these zombies should be dropping in through the ceiling. Oh, there goes his, uh, his board. It's okay, we got another one. I'm hoping I can find, like, a real, uh, real, like, big honking, um, uh, two-handed melee weapon. One thing I learned about strength in this game is that it's not based, it's, it's not how much, uh, damage you deal with a weapon. It's how fast you recharge after, after, uh, after using a weapon. It reduces the recharge rate on heavy weapons, pretty much, is what strength does. So Jeremy having max strength really helps with that. Not a lot of good here, honestly. Can I get one of you to grab the nail board? Haruka? Gavin? Sigh. Did I get raided? I'm gonna butcher this name. Cavernicholas? Nicholas? Nickel? No, there's no you. Except the, at the end there. Cavern Nicholas, think of the uh, think of the nine uh nine viewer raid here. All right, Miss Mr. Frey. I'll grab the other nail board. I don't have the uh I don't have the countermeasure set up as this is a uh, a, a a mobile setup. Set it right the first. Oh, Emmy! Thank you for the raid, Emmy. Uh, morale and random skill gain. Strength or Haruka Karabu. Oh, man. We could put, we could put, uh, what game are you playing? We're doing, um, uh, Familiar Faces. We could put Haruka from having just, uh, just, uh, reindeer strength to having, uh, moose strength. How are we doing on morale? Everyone's doing pretty good. Fitness might be better, especially given some of our options here. I'm gonna go with fitness. Uh, I mean, Haruka's fitness looks terrible because she's, uh, she's, um, not very athletic right now. Uh, ooh. Abandoned campground, uh, and, uh, so an old, somewhat stale, extra-large pack of marshmallows. Let's eat the marshmallows. Gain a little bit extra food from that. I'm actually gonna quit here because I've got a lot of Zombo points to spend. Oops, I wanna go to unlocks. Whoops! Uh, what do you got for us? Fast Learner or Dingus Savant? I need one more uh, Zombo point for that. Bow and Arrow, Natural Shot or Pyromaniac? Trader Camp Gnome, more rare traders, toilet upgrade one. I get more rare traders one. Extra ZP three would be really nice. Does that improve the amount I can get? Get one ZP every time you recruit someone or something. Wow, that's really good. I think I'm gonna save up and get that one because dang, that is really good. That'll make the unlocks go by very quickly. <laughs> the horror continues. Yikes. Uh, the way ahead is a big tree lying across. It looks like someone cut it down to block the road. Take a group of strong people to move it safely. The group decides to move the tree. We do not do it. Gavin Free got hurt and his morale decreases. This is a bull crap. Um, let's do the police station. We can get some good weapons from there, possibly. We don't. Have, we have no med, med supplies, actually. Mister Dooley. I was hoping that Jeremy's strength alone would be enough, but I guess the, it depends on the, uh, the a probably depends on the average of the group of people. And then whoever has the lowest strength probably gets the, the worst of it. All 
All right, guys, you're uh, imagine this this scenario. You're you're in uh, you're 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 in the uh, you're in the bathroom. You're in a public bathroom with your friends. You're having a grand old time when suddenly Jeremy Dooley comes in with a hatchet and uh, starts hacking your friends to pieces. What do you do? Do you a continue hobbling around? B attempt to lunge at them? C fall over inexplicably because your limbs are rotting off? I guess that would be explicable, but still, my point stands. Do you and your friends just not have grand old times in the public restroom? Fall because your limbs rotted off? That is probably the correct answer. Man, they locked up a lot of zombies. Oh no, it looks like they only locked up Dave. I feel like a police station would be a good place to put a, uh, a uh, rare character, like a convict that's immune to the zombie horde or something. I don't know if there's a way to open up cells. I wonder if the doors are breakable. They are! I feel like they wouldn't have give if they didn't break. Well, it is metal bars, so... It probably is a way to open the cells, but, but still. I do not know a way. I can get an anime sword, brass knuckles. Brass knuckles would be good for Jeremy since his forte is boxing. But with his big bruiser trait and everything. If we can get those enchanted, then maybe he can punch a ghost after all. Oh, hell yes! And Gavin's got the, the samurai sword. The katana. What was Emmy playing, by the way? I didn't ask that since she raided. Oh, I already killed everybody in here. Hoy, Bloodhoof! Whoa! I'm on the road to Canada! Jeremy with bra brass knuckles is pretty apt, yeah. Given how much they deal with firearms on his channel, I feel like Gavin should have a gun. What would Haruka's weapon be, though? Gavin lost his, uh, his, his samurai sword. Now he's using a scalpel. The death road to villain. How goes the trip to Canada? It's not bad. Though I think we're probably going to have an issue here as it's approaching 8 p.m. in game. Ah. Or is it 9 p.m. when it gets really bad? I, when you hear the music fading is when it's going to is when it's gonna be real bad. Dark Star with 100 bits saying, Finally got moved out of my apartment today, but I got a sore throat from copying your Krug voice too much. Semi-worth it. Yeah, Krug is, uh... Warning. Uh, long exposure to the Krug voice may result in sore throat. Are you partaking in Splatoon 3 Splatfest tomorrow? If so, uh, rock, paper, or scissors? Big man. Also, probably not because I thought I had a spare switch dock here and it doesn't seem like I do. I'll have to look around though because I haven't really done a lot of that. 
Shot placement is crucial for ammo to last. Uh, the group finds an inn open for business. The odor rings, rings her hands. Give me ten food and I'll watch over you while you sleep. She's super creepy. We have the food to spare, and it does raise morale, so I think it's worth it. Uh, the group pays... Uh, to stay at, uh, a night at the inn, it's comfortable. No one... Uh, no one wants zombies creeping while they're sleeping. <laughs> uh, the innkeeper serves up an amazing breakfast. Haruka refuses to eat it. I didn't give her paranoid, did I? A swarm to gym or a burning house? What did Haruka eat it? I... I think it's because of her attitude? I think a high wits and low attitude is a combination that makes it so, you, so you're paranoid. What does she have? Oh, she does have paranoid. Yeah, she's got the par Never mind, she's, she just has the paranoid, um, paranoid trait. I feel like I made Haruka's character with Haruka, and I don't know why she's paranoid. Let's go to the swarm gym. What are the people like there? Extra thick! Oh boy. Uh, Gavin doesn't have a weapon. I should have given him a gun. I think Surgeon gives him better use, uh, better uh, proficiency with guns. machines in here? Oh, Haruka! Run, Karibu! Should probably clear out this area a little bit and then go work out. That was a new noise I heard from that zombie. It kind of went... <laughs> Punch. 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 Can I lift up any of this stuff? Not the racks of weights. I can't lift up the treadmills. Okay. Uh, okay, no, that's... So, Jeremy shouldn't do that. Jeremy probably could lift the heaviest, but he shouldn't do that now because, uh... Or he, sh he shouldn't do it because he's already, like, maxed out on that. Aggressive really fast. I have to change the leader in order to do that. So, how about Haruka? Uh, what, is, what are her stats at? She had Paranoid, and what was the other one? Fighter. I think she has... Does Fighter give plus two to strength? Let's try heavyweight. It worked! Her strength is increased. Let's see if we can't get a good cardio routine in there as well. Although I don't think this is a good place to go because it's getting late. And the zombies are piling into the bathroom. I think it did give us time to rest, though. I think the other side is a treadmill that we can use. Oh, no, it's got another uh, barbell set. <laughs> we're just going gun mode. We, we bought a bunch of bullets, so I think we're good. Gavin doesn't even have a weapon. I 
want to... God, get out of here! I'm trying to use like a little bit of a spread technique here, but it doesn't seem to be working. Brass knuckles! Brass knuckles! Oh! Brass knuckles! Brass knuckles! They're getting a little feisty here. Alright, um... Switch to Haruka again. Heavyweight. She's getting super pumped. All right, we got to get the hell out of here. Does everybody have their accountability, buddy? Yes, I want to leave this location. Ugh, Mondays. Adira, stop Miller Road. It stares at the car. Why did Haruka get out and just stand in the middle of the road? Jeremy takes a shot at the deer from one of the car windows. He makes the shot back in the deer while also gaining, uh, while also going against any sense of hunter ethics. We get 10 food and Jeremy's shooting has increased. I can't believe we just killed Haruka for jerky. The car's gonna break down. Uh. Oh, we should have somebody tinker. Do I know who has good... Let's see... I think Surgeon gave plus to medical and shooting. I don't think it did anything for mechanical, but... Given that we kind of got Haruka's strength up. Emergency food, yes. Let's see if we can't, can't get Haruka as a mechanical. Yeah, her mechanical's not good. And everybody's gonna be tired tomorrow. That, that probably isn't the best. The car's probably gonna... Yeah, the car's broken down. Uh, Jeremy Dooley punches the car. Uh, oh, and he hurt his hand! Oh, he's, oh, he's, oh, I was gonna say, oh god, everybody got hurt and their morale got, uh, got decreased. Everybody's almost dead. Everyone's morale went up. We don't, we've gotten zero medical from, like, anything. We gotta find a good car, like, now. Is everybody still tired? I don't think we had a, yeah, no, we didn't have a decent sleep. Uh... Alright, let's do it. Look out for stuff to steal from cars. I mean, they're abandoned cars, but still. There's a tire iron right here. 11 bullets. A gassed canister. Smack. You guys got this! I swear I saw that one of these cars glinting. We found a hybrid, so we're gonna be getting good gas mileage, but it breaks down super easily. There's a glint. Oh, I never gave Gavin another weapon. Alright, I'm gonna kite him around here because I've got this gas tank. Oh, this gas tank. In the apocalypse, I figured that the electric cars would still be powered by gas. The road has been flooded out, but it looks like the car could still manage to get through. Plow through, take a detour, or let's jump it! Oh, there were two glints and I missed one. Everybody's still tired. Uh... I mean, the car's in good condition. 
Let's take the detour. It'll give us a. It'll, it'll give uh, the group a chance to recover from uh, from being tired. Yeah, we don't have any medical supplies, unfortunately, so Gavin Free cannot give us the stuff we need. We need to inventory all our supplies. We got no time for that type of boring stuff! Whoa, it's Nintendo Capri Sun! Nice to see a familiar face. It's being thrown out by his former group. They seem pretty angry. Nintendo Capri Sun shrugs. Practical and fighter. Recruit NCS. Well, we need a lot of chainsaws. That is a very Jeremy Dooley line. A grocery store can get us more food. What are we uh, hurting for? Or busy hotel. Let's go to the grocery store. Uh, I believe I missed a sub. Vangus64 with 25 months of Prime. Thank you very much for that. Alright, what does Tim have with him? Do we know anything about Tim? We just know his morale. I think practical... I don't remember what Practical did, actually. He's got pretty good strength, though, so he could wield a heavy weapon, no problem. He has a hatchet. I'm gonna give Gavin the knife. Actually, I'll give Gavin the tire iron. Haruka's got a gun. I'm gonna give Gavin the shotgun, because I think Surgeon Boost is shooting up. And then Jeremy can take the pistol. And while the group isn't doing so well medically, uh, they should be doing all right. Uh, why was why is there an armoire in the middle of the grocery store? Why are there? What's with the armoires in the middle of the grocery store? I say, we cannot leave just yet. I have to bring my antique furniture with me. Quick, hide it in this grocery store. Hide it in the stop and shop. Or the big Y if you're in the Northeast. Or Publix if you're in the Atlantic, in Middle Atlantic. Or H-E-B if you're in Texas. Or Kruger. There's a lot of places! Oh boy, oh god, oh jeez, oh snap. Okay. Gavin pulling out the shotgun. Mr. Free, we only have so many shells. Way too much fun with uh with I almost just said it by its acronym. You know, I'm just gonna say it so we have the sentence out of context. I'm gonna have so much fun with tits when we get uh when when I get my VTuber done. Tits, by the way, is an acronym that stands for Twitch Integrated Throwing System. No one ever listens to me, and nobody responded to that comment. Uh, we're low on health, so we should probably prepare for siege. Jeremy Dooley. I think we're good. We got two hatchet men. Quickly, we'll hide in the pro shop! Oh boy, it's one of these raids. You stop it! 
You stop it, Zambos. That is... Whoa, that's a... That's a very small bathroom. Oh, God. I'm getting myself wedged in a corner. No! Run! Okay. I had to make a decision. Wasn't sure if it was the right one, but I made it anyway. Glad Gavin is so good with the gun. Siege is over. There's still a buttload of zombies near the entrance. There are zombies near the entrance. Oh my freaking god. Run. And we've got to make it to the entrance. Where is Gavin Free? I thought he died. Whew. The worst of the zombie siege is over. The group clears out any remaining zombies outside that goes back to splatney stragglers uh, so they can set up camp. Everyone's morale went up. One gas! The group runs into another car, much like their car. The uh, It's rotting and nearly totaled, but it's, uh, and it's full of skeletons! Probably a bunch of bugs and other gross things. Yet another sign that may attempt the death... Uh, wait. Yet another sign th uh, that many attempt the death road to Canada, not many make it. Uh, Jeremy Dooley could be philosophical. Hurricane could be philosophical. Hurricane could, could dismantle the car for parts, or we could search for loot. Uh, let's loot it. Uh, the group takes what supplies they could find from the car. Uh, the trunk is completely stuffed with uh, rolls of toilet paper. Unfortunately, it's all rotten and full of bugs. What a letdown. They want to do a sing along? We should do a shut up along. Oh boy. Fight an army of zombies or give up on the journey to Canada. The group spends so much effort arguing with each other that they, that they don't notice they've driven into the middle of an overwhelming sea of zombies. A building is nearby, but it seems hopeless. I wonder what giving up actually does in this game. If anything, like, like I wonder if it makes it so like it, it's uh you find these particular people again in a later playthrough. Bingo! Uh, Poppy Senior, Poppy Senior Bro with the 17 months of tier one saying, hopefully uh, we don't discover any zombies in Canada. Giving up is just the game over. Oh, this is not good. We have a screwdriver. There's a chest in here. Tim's, Tim's hatchet snapped already. A pistol ammo. Oh, God. I'm trying to get as many of them as I can with the chairs, but... we got to survive two hours in here. Which is not going to go well for us because we've been arguing this whole time. I should have brought the... Mm. You know, this actually isn't going nearly as bad as I... Th okay, actually, it's getting a lot worse right now. Uh, Haruka's dead. Jeremy's dead. Gar Gavin is out of shotgun shells. Tim, you doing all right there, buddy? Gavin's dead. Tim's just gonna push through here. Tim's dead. Hey, Cooley! I, I love Death Road to Canada. It's so good. Well, dang it. How you doing, Cooley? Alright. Gonna load random. I should make you in this game, Cooley. I'm 
Gucci, how are you? I'm doing well. Coolie. Smiley. What traits does Cooley have? Give us your cash! I'm not gonna lie, 90% of my interactions with, with Cooley have been as Pandora, so I'm probably gonna be going off of that mostly. Let's see. Friend of Dog would probably be a good fit for, uh, for, for at least Pandora. <laughs> You'd, oh wait, but Cooley does have a dog, so friend of dog would make sense. Explorer, hidden, Explorer, I feel like would fit Pandora. <laughs> Again, most of my interactions with Cooley have been as Pandora. <laughs> hey Dan, 500 bits uh, from Dan saying, sending some death bits. Trademark weapon, Shield of Hope, what does this do? Protects against a fatal hit if morale is over sad. We'll still die uh, to some insta-kill events. You lose two morale each time you evade death. I'm gonna say friend of dog, but knowing this game, uh, it's not that helpful. It does give us dog, though. Of course, uh, we all know that Cooley is too swole to control. Pandora's a- oh, true, true, Pandora is a healer. Uh, there is the healthcare trait. Start with seven medical supply and gain two points in medical. I think that's good. Hundred percent, charming. Hundred percent. From perception of others, a good attitude and pure charisma. There's something about this person that opens doors, charms way into free stuff or out of bad situations. Can't charm way out of everything. All right. Don't mind me, just pulling up a picture of Cooley, so I can remember exactly what she looks like. There we go. At least from this, this picture here. In the picture I pulled up, uh, she's wearing a, a black hoodie, so I think that, that top would fit. I like the white pants with the black hoodie, though. But what do we got here? Oh, we've dropped. Up and buy Merc if the Gatier one sub to Cooley. I would give you the sub for your sub, but uh, I don't have the substitute plush with me. First off, let me take... Well, Cooley does wear glasses, so let's see... Kinda wish there was an option for clear glasses. dark red which the closest to that would be this I think it looks about right I'm not feeling the glasses though <laughs> when did they add these faces I like the one with the really high up lips <laughs> yeah I need a sub for the sub for your sub <laughs> I like how the faces are less, like, appearance-based and more, like, different moods. Here we have Fed Up Cooley. <laughs> I 
<laughs> and after after carefully crafting Cooley's appearance, we're gonna give her a welding mask. I'm really not feeling any particular pair of glasses in this. A lot of people made. New game. All right. Since we just made her, we definitely got to start with Cooley. Who's your buddy going to be? Adriana Figueroa. Let's go. I, I forgot I gave her X Wrestler and Berserk. Cooley Smiley hears rumors that Canada is a safe place free from the threat of zombies. With nothing left to gain from waiting around in Florida, she decides to brave the death road to travel north. Fire can clear out an army of zombies if you're lucky. It's very dangerous to use indoors. Hit the road! Strong team. Uh, I think the rest stop's a good starting area. You have a knife. Adri has nothing because... <laughs> I, The ex-wrestler trait is probably one of my favorites. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong buttons. Oh, that that's a good start. I forgot how the controls work. Can I just, like... Nope, okay. And your knife broke immediately! Wow! Grand start! Bingo! Hi, cat! 88 months from Snow Silver Cat saying, Hi, Tom. Hope all is well. All is great. I actually need to come visit you guys while I'm out here. <laughs> Punch the Madry! Oh, actually, this is phenomenal. We already got a sledgehammer. 100% okay with this. So we got... I don't want to see... Yes! X Wrestler is one of my favorites because you can f knock zombies down, then pick them up to throw at other people. I just gotta improve her fitness a little bit so that way uh, she can hold on to zombies for longer. What difficulty am I playing? This is, uh, I believe this is familiar faces normal. So we're gonna see a lot of the the, the people that I've that I've made throughout this, such as members of Achievement Hunter, um, the Runaway Guys Extended Universe. Uh, my friends from the, the, uh, my friends from when I would do, like, Derp Crew recordings and whatnot. Alright, we got two subs here that I didn't actually get a good look at. Shino! No, wait! Man to with the 52 months of Tier 1 saying, uh, once more on the deadly road, uh, road to Tim, to a Tim Hortons, exactly. Bingo! Uh, she knows with 100 bits saying, Tom Skink, he was a Zombo 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 Skink. Dave Star, 1230 with 33 months of tier 1 saying, 33 months, let's see how much death this road really has. Queen Chi with 11 months of tier 1 saying, well, that's a different background, Tom Silence. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm uh, like 2,500 miles away from my normal setup. Uh, and totally basted with the 25 months of tier 1. Thank you very much for all that. Here we go. He was a small skink. He was a small skink. God. I I I'm so happy that that that. <laughs> I'm so happy that that skink uh art is in uh, is in that mod for Among Us. Uh, Axel with the 82 months of tier one saying Ghost watches man. Wait, hold on. What does that say? Ghost watches man play as pixel men and women killing zombos. I'll have what he's having. Also, good luck, Tom. Hope you're doing well. Thank you. Get out of here. Get out of here. Tis a pleasant skink. The, uh, the campground the group sets up and smells terrible. The source of the smell is a complete mystery. Uh, you're... You're... <laughs> 
your morale can take the hit. Endure the smell in exchange for a good night rest. Free healthcare in Obama's America. All oh, right, this game came out like way before. This game came out a while ago. Uh, umbrellas or groceries? I think we probably need food. All right, do that. What does Cooley have? Cooley has a mallet. I think she'd, uh, I think she'd do better with the claw hammer at the moment. Actually, let's go with the hatchet. Halsey Ryder with a 20 months of tier one saying, Hey Tom, uh, is the doggo with you or uh, on your trip to see family this time? No, I flew and I don't want to bring my dog on an airplane. <laughs> Funny Meyer. There's a zombo point in here. Oops. Oh God. Okay. Slam. Slam. Oops. Don't bring my pup out of it. Yeah, I, I hear, I hear horror stories about like people who like crate their dogs for like trips, and then they're like either traumatized or like worse. But no, he's um, Manatee's spending his uh his his weekend with um Bailey and Apex, and their uh, and their Corgi, whom uh, he just met for the first time when I went to drop him off. But they got along swimmingly. Bailey posted this really cute video of Manatee uh and and Ellie, their Corgi, playing together. Who am I getting raided by? JT Dog Games, thank you for the raid. I don't have countermeasures right now, but I but I appreciate the raid. JT Raid! Thank y'all. Ever so much. Nothing in here, so nothing to fear. Let's kill some zombies. Oh, never mind, they broke the shelf. Damn it! I needed that Billy bookcase for my uh for for my game collection. Oh wait, those two drawers had stuff in them. A food and a bullet. If I could like, like, I would maybe bring Manatee on board if I can get him certified as like an emotional support animal. But I also just don't want to bring him on a plane in general and have him like, have him try to stay still for like, however long the flight is. I haven't played New uh, Animal Crossing New Horizon in forever! I saw somebody in my flight playing it in front of me. There was a temptation to like to tap them on the shoulder and be like, "Hey, what are your turnip prices at?" Although I haven't played in forever, so like I, I don't have any turnips to to go to. In fact, the bit the bit badges I have are based on turnips because of that thing I did. Oh God! To those who don't know. When Animal Crossing New Horizon first came out, I was like, money making adventure, let's go, I'm gonna buy a, a, a ton of turnips. And I was like, I bought a bunch and then got like, God, it was like, I, I like, I bought like a manageable, manageable amount like the first couple of times and ended up with like a, like a few million turnips. And then I was just like, all right, we're gonna go ham on this one. So then I spent as much money as I possibly could of that million, of the, of those, like, of that few million, and just filled my island with them. Then I, uh, well, I, I filled, it, it filled it up as much as possible. It was about a quarter of my island filled with just turnips. Uh, same with my house as well. 
And then I did a, uh, a walkthrough of, of my Animal Crossing village. Uh, to the tune of Hall of the Mountain King. And, uh... That went a little bit viral, and it got picked up by, uh, by a gaming news site. And then I sold the turnips off and ended up with like a hundred million, uh, bells after that. After that, I tried to do a little bit more in terms of, like, uh, of decorating my island. Because really, after a certain point, bells don't do anything for you anymore. Like, I, at that point, I had already paid off my house. I'd like to also thank the three people that let me uh, use their islands when they had surge pricing to sell turnips on for six hours on stream. The group runs into a very out-of-place vending machine. Looks like someone made it from chunks, chunks of scrap iron. The lights are still on. Everything in the machine costs $20, and the group is that much in wrinkled, frayed bills. We can get gasoline, a stick, or a shotgun fun pack. Our morale is... Middling at best. <laughs> fun, fun, fun pack villain. Fun. Don't tell me your phone auto-corrected that villain. <laughs> Let's get the shotgun fun pack. This will be an annoying process. Given... Given the Berserk trait uh, makes Adri very short-tempered, I think I'm going to have Cooley do this. Morale decreased a little bit. We got a shot. Uh, we got a shotgun and six bullets out of that. The group camps out in a big field. The group eats oh, a decent meal. That's right. Boob lust. Thank you for the six ninety bits. Gurkhanov saying, "Ah, that's right. Fun pack." Uh, we shoot the cans. We get a. We get shooting up, but morale down. I think it's worth it. Um, well, actually, Adri just didn't care, so. <laughs> <laughs> my cans! My antique cans! Oh, look what you've done to them! I, I feel like I should take more from, uh, from, uh, Danganronpa to make it do alerts. I've got the one Danganronpa alert, and then I've got one from Persona 5, which is, uh, Yusuke saying, That was truly qu uh, cringeworthy. That one's at 717 bits, because that was the date in-game that he said that. The bandits are guarding a retracted bridge over a river. They demand a toll to, uh, for anyone to pay. Adri tells the bandits to cool it, or we could take a detour instead. Refuse and fight, or pay the toll. How are we doing on food? We could easily pay that toll. We have yet to run into anybody yet, so I'm afraid that telling them to cool it and fighting... I mean, like, these two options are going to get Adri killed because she only has one HP, so let's pay the toll. Mm. Except Cooley's morale went to hell, and that might have consequences later Give in the game. Give us your life. cash! We should try to find efficient cars to conserve our gas. Cooley de what? Cooley demands that Adriosaurus leaves the group. Cooley says she will take the car and supplies and continue to Canada. <laughs> oh, Swordmaster. Swordmaster B with the 500 bits. Saying had some bits lying around and wanted the badge, so take him. Uh... <laughs> let's, uh... You know what? You're in the chat, so let's, uh, let's, um, delegate this to you. What option is, uh, would you, would you like here, Cooley? Adri gets kicked out, gets kicked out, you get kicked out, or Adri says, say it, don't spray it. Out of all of them, this one could have a different result. <laughs> <I'm> gonna... <laughs> what if this one is just coolly like say it, don't spray it? I'm really hoping that this one has the. <laughs> I'm really hoping that this option is coolly deals damage to Adrian, leaves the group, so I'm just left with an empty card. I lose the game. Hmm. Adri tells Cooley to say it, don't spray it. Cooley gets so angry about this that she can't even talk. They're still in the group together! Yep, Cooley's still in the 
The group meets a strange and menacing figure. He or she is wearing a mask and robe. I sell axes. Just axes. You have 15 food to spare. Adri robs the merchant, which, because he's... Oh, let's just leave that be for now. I would trade my fortune for a real roll of toilet paper. Keep dying, get good. Group meets with a man holding a bazooka and a satchel overstuffed with beeping mines. He looks so happy with his explosives. These weapons will not let you down, unless of course you blow yourself up with them. A bazooka with three shots, two landmines, or a grenade launcher. Me <laughs> trying to kick my teammate out isn't very charming. Whoa, it's Sab Irene! Saying it around a card, uh, she's been waiting for, uh, for you to show up. Calm under fire and mechanic. Let's go ahead and recruit Sab. Cooley is now traveling around with two musicians. The group finds a woman surrounded by medical equipment. She claims to be a skilled doctor. She offers to provide health care in exchange for uh, food. We actually don't need treatment at all. Cooley can use charm, but none of us need treatment. The group sees a man standing near an SUV. Do you have any spare gas? I'm running out. He offers to give you two cans of food for every 25 units of gas. We have 52 cans of gas, uh, 52 gas left. Uh, the group finds a man selling a bunch of firearms. He's holding a minigun that has a scope, laser sight, and a flashlight attached to it. I don't think that's worth it right now. Yep, it, it's just a troop of musicians. <laughs> when when you have the all bard group, man, there's nothing I could really use charm on except for medical, and we don't need medical. I don't think there's anything here I could really need, unless we want to spend ten ten food to get an electric guitar for Adri. You know, listen, we got a musician group. I'm buying the electric guitar. Doesn't Adri need help? No, she her max HP is one. Cooley sneaks off and everyone's busy. Uh, she leaves. She Cooley, you just left. She leaves nothing. She leaves taking nothing, not even her personal supplies. Cooley's loyalty is revealed to be very good. Oh, I see. Okay, okay, I get you. So you left. So Cooley left because her her morale was really low, but she didn't steal anything because her loyalty was really high. Where else his morale comes up? Hey, it's Chugga Conroy! <laughs> Your loyalty is very appreciated. Thanks for not taking my stuff, Cooley. That was truly cringeworthy. Yeah, there it is. 717 bits from Gurkhanov saying she left because she's, uh, she sprayed instead of saying it to Adri. Exactly. On the bright side, as far as we know, Cooley survives. Oh, this thing is sick. Emil has an ore. Why does he have an ore? Sab's got a wrench. We got two we got two cowboy rifles and a shotgun. What was I feel like a mechanic. Sab Irene has a haircut that is so last season. Adriosaurus doesn't mind zombies but really hates ghosts. Chugga Conroy keeps looking around nervously. Alright, let's give Sap the shotgun. I should have, uh... I should have, uh, uh, uh... Budgeted for, uh, for morale a little bit better. War Acolyte with a 49 months of tier 1 saying, Hello, hello, is this Tom on his way with friends to Canada? Either way, hi Tom. Hello. It's very possible we won't... Let's... Oh, d d it doesn't make a noise when you hit people with it? I was hoping... I was expecting... Wow! Some kind of wear. I'll just go ahead and throw this at this guy. There we go. Uh, the one true zeroing thing of the 20 th 29 months of tier 1. Table. Can I pick up the fridge? Ah, oh, dang it. Fortunately, this is a very early, uh, early siege, so it's not that bad. Glad zombies aren't pouring out of the ceiling. Whoops, almost got Adri killed by looking at chat.
Okay, Emil no longer has an ore. He is doing his best to punch, though. <laughs> or does he? Very true, very true. Group feels inspired after managing to survive this uh, this situation. They feel like they're getting the hang of this. Sab get, can get plus two fitness. Everyone can gain one strength, or we can get a morale and random skill gain. I just realized that that Cooley being in the party to begin with might be the determining factor that, of everybody surviving, because she joined the group with seven medical supplies and left while still giving us the medical supplies. Uh, I think the morale and random skill gain, honestly. Adria's... Adria's, I mean, like, Adria's gonna be, like, bashing people to death, so... How's everyone else's... Mechanic and Calm to Fire, and Emil's got Athlete, so he already has pretty good fitness and strength. Sab could get plus two fitness. I'm gonna go with the morale. Everyone's morale goes up. Adri's fitness increases to god-tier levels. Emil's shooting increases, as does Sab's. I got a Zombo point for it. Probably run out of gas before we reach Canada. Well, well, yes, yes we will. Oh boy, do- Oops! I hit the wrong button and I lost half our supplies. We have no food. We should ditch the car and find a big zombie we could ride around on. Adrosaurus is having crippling tooth pain. Without, an access, without access to precision tools uh, needed, the only option is to pull the tooth out. She weighs the current options. Man, if only we had a medic here! <laughs> I used to be a dentist or I saw this in a cartoon once. I'm gonna... I'm gonna get her killed by trying to pull her tooth out! I think Force It Out's gonna gonna kill her though. Cause I think I used to be a dentist as a medical check. I saw this in a cartoon as a mechanical check. Let's see if we get Adriosaurus killed. I don't believe it. She just reached in there with her bare hands and pulled one of her teeth out. Everyone's morale goes down from the crummy weather. Uh, walking in the dirt road, chugging a car, I thought I spotted, uh, spotted a car, but it was a giant car-shaped rock. Hey, explore the junkyard. Bingo! Bingo! Uh, God dang it, man. Thank you for the Prime, uh, Prime Gaming sub. Gold dang it, Crushinator, jump! No, Pa. I love him. Alright, uh, let's go. So many good underrated, like... Like, I watched The Simpsons, like, when I was growing up, and I go back and still find new quotes that, like, that I only now get the, get the jokes of now. I bring this one up all the time, but it's one of my favorites. It's when, uh, they're going to the mall to go shoe shopping. Uh, for church shoes. And, uh, Bart goes, why do we need, why do we even need shoes to go to church? Jesus wore sandals, and Homer responds with, well, maybe if he had better arch support, they wouldn't have caught him. One well, that just completely flies under the radar. He says it so mundanely. That's what, that's probably one of my favorite, uh, like, deliver, like, uh, like, uh, rules of comedy is... A very outrageous statement said very, very, like, mundane. It's like the, uh... I guess it's kind of like the Will Wright school of comedy. I poured spot remover on my dog, and now he's gone. Uh... Sab and Emil, you doing alright over there? Bam, 
comedy is 70% delivery, I think. That, that's a, that, I'd say it's a fairly true statement. That's a fair statement, I'd say. Can we squeeze past the car to get into here? There we go. Because there's gas in here. There's maybe other stuff in here. The fridge has been cleared out. I don't know why there's just a fridge. Imagine walking into a home and there's a small walled alcove that has a fridge in it and, it's, and, it's, and nothing else. Who designed this house? Computer! Oops. He fits perfectly, Adriana unlocks the door. Normal home. You know what? I get you. Normal home. The Fiesta keys to the garage, exactly. Can't name a better place for a fridge. Oh, it's Motion Dan! He was in chat earlier! Dan, he's still here? Nice to see a familiar face. He was making tons of noise playing a portal game console. Full blast. We got Hero Type and Friend of Dog. Recruit Dan Sedembrini. Can't wait to meet other survivors on the way to Canada. On the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. We can go for a hospital raid. I think we have a lot of medical supplies as it is. Or a busy uh, park with car. Uh, what car do we have now? Our car right now is a gas guzzler. Car speed's slow. I'm gonna go to the busy park with the car. Unfortunately, the zombies are hunting. Dan, what do you bring to the table? You've got rebar and a hatchet. Oh no, Dan has a mop. Who had the hatchet? That was a meal. Okay, Dan Dan has a Dan has a mop, so let's give him the rebar. Do I have anything any stats on Dan? I just know his loyalty is really good. Meal I should I could probably equip with a heavier weapon as well. Ooh, I don't think I've ever seen this area. I know they added some newer ones in a in a recent update, but uh, I don't know if this is the uh, if this is one of them. There's a lot of buildings here. This is actually a, this is a really neat area. I like this one a lot. Unfortunately, the zombies are hunting, so it's gonna put a little bit of damper on me taking my time. Okay, I left the guard. Oh God, it's another. It's a. It's the same, like, style of car. Oh, no, 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 come back, come back! <laughs> Please don't leave me. Run. Well, <laughs> I the first bathroom I went to, I found the keys immediately. It's always a good sign. And do I want that car, or do I want to stick with this one? Oh, hello, tool shed! Oh, it's just like zombies ate my neighbors! Oh. Alright, we're, we're gonna have to make a few adjustments here. The branch trimmer is pretty good because it can hit multiple enemies at once. It doesn't deal a lot of damage, but the fact that it can hit multiple enemies is pretty neat. Unfortunately, the zombies are not making it easy for me to get back to my car. Alright, let's pop the boot. Put the branch trimmer in there. I don't know why Emil didn't pick anything else up. I think Sab did, though. She picked up a broom and a rake. Dan pick up anything? Dan picked up our, our weed, uh, the weed whacker. So let's... Because, like, I can't... Like, if there's one thing that's, that's synonymous to me in this game, it's Dan and his mop. Like, I can't think of Motion Dan without thinking about his legendary mop. Whoa! Lane sur uh, survived his mission of uh, finding the bathroom. They got surrounded by nearby hordes. He asked if he could follow you around. There were too many zombies in the other bathroom. I think I dropped my car keys there. Let him follow you. Lane followed Adriosaurus. I couldn't, like... I couldn't- I didn't have the patience for Zombies Ate My Neighbors because I played it after the age where I'd be like, oh boy, do we want to- Alright, let's- let's clear this out and get to the, uh, the- the food truck. I played it after I started doing, uh, doing content creation, so, like, if there's one thing about, like, 
about content creation that's that's changed me is I is that when I'm streaming I no longer have patience for uh, for um repetitive tries of, of a challenge over and over again especially with let's play or uh, maybe not with let's plays more with streaming I mean this is different because the object of the game is to try it over and over again and grow a little bit every time see yeah the food truck is a long line uh, we can either have him join the team, which is a definite no. A, a tank of 80 gas or group medical training. How much gas do we have? We have 80 right now, so I think it'll be good for a little while. The, I don't think anybody has good medical in our group. Hero type, friend of dog, uncommon fire mechanic, berserk and ex-wrestler, irritating an athlete. All right, let's go for the medical training then. Don't get to find out what they have, but it's all well and good. Hmm. Group cobbled together. Oh, we didn't have we don't have a lot of food. And Emil and Adri's morale is very low. Sad didn't mind much because she's got a great attitude. Everybody's morale's in the is in the toilet. We might have a uh, a Motion Dan has lost all hope and refuses to keep going. He wanders off to an unknown fate. What a nerd who needs him anyway. Jesus game. Uh <laughs> Well, maybe he did he did he leave behind his legendary mop? Strength and fitness gym because that might have uh, vending machines in it, and we could really use the food. He did leave behind his legendary mop. <laughs> Only nerds leave. I hope Dan isn't in the chat right now. <laughs> there. If anything, Dan... Oh, yeah. Oh, you know what I just realized? Cooley probably say that note knowing that she left, too. Yep, I see. I see that in the chat now. <laughs> Listen, Cooley and Dan formed their own, their own group and, like, found... They found a helicopter and made it to Canada, no problem. Yo, was that a Peloton bike? Alright, Adri's... Adri's fitness is already really good. Oh, I'm wondering... We gotta go back to the car. Okay, no toilets have anything in it. Gotta grab the flashlight. They also are still out of food, which might be troublesome in, in its own right. Okay, here's the plan. We search the houses for food. We, hopefully we find six so we can get our morale back up. I'm gonna switch to the branch trimmer. Actually, no, I'll, I'll keep the, uh, the electric guitar. They actually added a feature. To, I, I've, I've mentioned this plenty of times, but you know, some some might not know. They actually added a feature to this game based on uh, based on uh, on my streams. Uh, the the load random custom character feature was uh, was added because I would just pick random characters and use a random number generator for them. We're not finding a lot of food here. I just think it's really neat that a game I like, that, 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 uh, a game I like, uh, like, I had an effect on a game that I like. I'm not, I'm not using Molotovs. Yeah, no, here's the, here's the rough part. I'm still probably gonna go to that gym and be completely surrounded by zombies. Also, I can't, okay, there's one scrap of food. We haven't found a single kitchen. None of these apartments are come equipped with kitchens. Got myself killed a lot in this game using pipe bombs. Same. Literally me. God, I'm gonna get myself killed tr trying to get sick gains. Uh, 
What is with these Georgian houses not having anything? Well, who's ready to die? Uh, Sab, take the wheel and do a little bit of cardio. Uh, oh, dang, her, her fitness is higher than I thought. Can I do it again, or is it covered in sweat? It's all covered in sweat now, okay. Well, I spent an hour doing absolutely nothing, but I did reveal what her, what her, um... Her stats are. We really gotta get back to that car. Bingo! Uh, who is that from? Sondolin with the 89 months, nine months of tier one saying, Hey, Tim. I'm assuming it was a, that was a typo. Hope to possibly see you uh, while you're up here. Retro World Expo is this... Wait, really? Oh, man. Uh... Yeah, damn. I uh, like if I if if I can uh, if if I can go, then heck yes. Tim Fox. <laughs> the group is poking around through an abandoned house. They spot a Ouija board. TM on the kitchen table. It's a common game used to communicate with ghosts. These things are rumored to be incredibly cursed with bad luck, so beware. Still, maybe worth asking a question. We'll betray the team. Will we make it to Canada? Where's the loot? So this does actually have an effect on being able to find stuff. So I think we are going to take the bad luck and just hope that our good skill will be able to outweigh the bad luck. Uh, we found seven food, thank God, and uh, and uh, twenty six gas. But now we uh, we have we've been cursed by Ouija. Somewhere in the distance, a goblin laughs. <laughs> uh, there's a uh, group sets up camp for the night after being sure there's no danger. They discover edible berry bushes all around the campsite. The berries wouldn't be a big amount of food for the work uh, and the sleepless night, but every bit could help. We did find we did just find quite a bit of food. Let's just go to sleep. We'll eat our meal. We'll get our morale up. Uh. Whoops. The group finds a strange-looking cargo container flipped onto its side, lying in the middle of the road. It's got a valve exhaust port sticking out of it, venting steam, and it smells of fresh hot wings. Is this game on Switch? I, th I actually think it is. Hang on. I think they released a port of it to Switch. Death Road to Canada. Uh, it is on Switch. Get wings. Warning. Hot. Oh my god! <laughs> the group of Pope approaches the cargo container. They open the door and giant amounts of boiling hot sauce pours out in a tidal wave. <laughs> Adrian gets killed by hot sauce. Everyone else gets hurt. The group takes that they figure they can eat before the chicken wings spoil on the road. It was all Rick worth it. <laughs> Opening a valve and just getting sprayed with boiling hot sauce. <laughs> Adrian died the way she lived. Spicy. Well, we're down to a meal and sab. Oh, God. Fucking air brawler. Hey, Kyle. Think of the A6 months of tier one. And off with the 666 bits. <laughs> Killer GNK droid. Apartment rescue a shopping mall or leave them be. Well, the original two people that were in the party are both dead, are, are either dead or gone. I refuse to think that anybody who leaves the party is dead. It's like, um, it's like Spartans in Halo. They're not dead. They're just, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, they're just MIA. It keeps, it keeps the hope alive. Damn. <laughs> oh my god. Jeffrey Reen is saying Adri doing the Terminator thumbs up as she as she munches on the chicken leg. Yeah, she's she's munching on a chicken leg, giving the thumbs up as she's sinking into a pool of boiling hot sauce. 
We're gonna try the shopping mall because there might be some good stuff there. Hatchet man. All right. Well, great. Now Emil's got to take up the electric guitar. frames doesn't look like it okay cool got an air horn what the is that a oh it's aluminum bat i was like is that a giant syringe Bingo! nope emil's just gonna be uh we have no we no longer have a way to suplex zombies which is very unfortunate However, our food consumption has dropped considerably. All right, maybe we can kite around them now. Sam, just run! Okay. Oh. There's a cricket bat, very Shaun of the Dead. In here. Nothing useful, anyway. Which of the zombies do seem fairly sluggish. Uh, uh, I miss a bingo. Uh, Staz Varence with the eight months of tier one saying, eight months with the fox. He's desperate, desperately trying to get to Canada. Who can blame him? Uh, the way you called me Mr. Fox there reminded me that um, my. Uh, so as you all know, I'm visiting my parents in Connecticut, uh, in Connecticut right now. Um, my, uh, or rather his, uh, uh my, my brother has a, uh, has, uh, has a one-year-old son named Jack. Um, and, you know, so that would make, so that would make me, my family, also my entire family calls me Thomas. That would make me Uncle Thomas. The downside is, Jack has already met my Uncle Thomas, and refers to him as Uncle Thomas. So now my family is trying to get him to call me Uncle Fox. Which I'm not worried about. It, which, which I'm not worried about for, for the most part. However, it will, uh, it, you know, if he ever gets into those rebellious teen years, it may, it may, uh, uh, incur some interesting nicknames. The other thing, too, is that my Uncle Thomas is coming to visit tomorrow. It's my dad's birthday tomorrow. He's coming to visit. So he's going to be real confused with the two Uncle Thomases. All right. Uh, someone just, uh, oh, that must be Cooley in the car uh, driving down the street and yelling nerds at us. Group attempts to, uh, attempt. The group's attempt at camping is interrupted by a very angry bear. <laughs> They're forced out, uh, forced to abandon the camp, uh, with little sleep and must uh, make a panic decision about what to grab. What do I have equipped right now? On the bright side, we are not losing the electric guitar, but we are losing the, uh, the trimmer. And possibly our ammo. How much food do we have? We've got 26 food. I'm taking the food. Ooh! How do we lose 64 weapons? The, grab, uh, the group manages to grab all the food before fleeing. Sab Irene, thinking of others in need, does all she can to save the medical supplies. Sab is hurt. We lost 64 weapons, 18 bullets, one shotgun shell, and rifle ammo, and morale is decreased. Sab Irene rolls up her sleeves and starts tending to the wounds. Oh, and her medical went up, too. Excellent, excellent, excellent. The group is robbed by weak bandits. Uh, the bandits are the kind that normally wouldn't be a problem if the group had a car and wasn't tired from walking all day. Uh, I don't think... Let me see how everyone's doing. Okay, everyone's fine on health. Refuse to fight. We get, we get hurt, but it's fine. We're out of medical supplies. We finally found a car. I think it just says 64 to, uh, to, to drive home that it's like, you lose all of your extra weapons. You can't even hold that much. 
That entrance was very well hidden behind that door. I really wish I still had had uh, had Adri to pick up and throw stuff at. Uh... I'm gonna get a meal killed this way. Oh, Sab ain't doing all right. Sab! Of course, everyone's feeling the feeling the pain. Let's grab the keys. Try to grab as much supplies as we can. Oh God! Nope, 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 nope. Not the bad break already. All right, fine. We're going. Ro we're rocking out. It's New Year's rocking Eve. No, this stream is not sponsored by NBC. Uh, let's get the hell out of here. Slaps the roof of Bear. Run. Get in the car. <gasps> Masayanella! Bapanda! Sounds like a... Nope, Bapanada? Bapanada. What would say Fix Arcade? Masay, I keep losing... I keep a... Oh, it's a Hollow Knight quote. I haven't played that game. And there's so many people in chat that are disappointed that I haven't. Um, at any rate, I must say I keep losing people to death. Or to low morale. Because I got... Who did I get killed? I got Adri killed. Um, uh, Cooley, Cooley walked out in the group. Um, and so did Dan. <laughs> there, was, there was a lot of kill death. But we got Apex Arcade. The, the person we're recruiting right now is actually watching Manatee right now. Kill death, true. You know what? I should just kill death. Bingo! We are low on medical supplies. Westifer, thank you for the four, four months of tier one saying Papanata. Oh, hi. No pandas, sadly. Fun fact, 99% of people die at some point in their lives. <laughs> Listen. I... <laughs> that would imply <laughs> that somewhere between 70 and 80 million people are immortal. <laughs> Leave home without my trusty can opener. The group finds a health food store. It seems like no one's bothered by uh, to loot it because the food is disgusting. Most of the food seems to be rotting away, or maybe it's not, and it could be the food is supposed to look and smell like this. Ignore for morale reasons. How are we doing on morale? We're kind of mess, so we can get the food. Uh, the group gets the food. It's not much. Uh, a meal in Apex's. Morale goes down. Sab has eaten worse food, possibly. The group uh, feels healthier just looking at the gross food. Oh my god, is this organic? I only- I'll only eat it if it's organic. Is that John? Proton John is hanging around camp. He's been waiting for you to show up. Let's go recruit Proton John. Oh yeah, Aphex is berserk too. Ugh! Feel the burn! It's an old man. Uh, Old but fit man in matching gray sweatpants and sweatshirt. He screams something about building mass and bulk with an intense strength routine. He flails some heavy objects that are lying around. All the friends. Do you do medical training or give or sell medical supplies? Okay, this might put a damper on morale, but I'm thinking we charm our way into some fitness. There we go. John got some free uh, free workout from it. I can't talk to the guy again, and then we'll rob this guy. Aphex might die, but... He didn't die. We got medical supplies, but John's morale fell really low. Wasn't the apocalypse supposed to be rad cars, leather, and way less waiting? The car is running a gas. Wow, we, we're going through cars very quickly. Uh, Chug Conroy isn't paying attention to where he's going. Falls into a deep puddle. Gear is fully submerged, putting the supplies in danger. No, the medical supplies we stole! Everyone's morale goes back up, fortunately, from, uh, from being a nice meal. Sad by Reen spots a car parked in the middle of the road. They rush over to discover it's a car that looks suspiciously like the car they started their journey with. Sad by Reen takes the keys that she kept from the old car and sticks into the ignition. It starts. 
93 gas too. Very large horde. Let's try and survive. Sab has a machete, a shotgun with no with no ammo. Pop that in there for now. Emil has our rifle and our bat. You know what? Congratulations, Emil. You get your ore back. Apex is going to wield the electric guitar. Oh, good. John started off with a piece of wood. I feel like this might be the end of our of our journey. I could have Apex leave. Let me check stats. Yeah, Apex is berserk and athlete, giving him a really... <laughs> hopes to find a flamethrower. Uh, what's John's trait? Proton John is going to make it to Canada this time. Yeah, he'd probably like to go home, I'd assume. And Apex hopes to get a flamethrower. Oh, after I put the shotgun away, we immediately got shotgun shells. Alright, John lost his weapon. I almost got Apex killed immediately. There's a lot of furniture in here, so we can make good use of that. Yep, that's what I was afraid of. We get them all? Wow, we got them all. Mayhaps I can make it to Canada, even with the curse of Ouija. They get knocked down, but they get up again because I'm never going to kill oh God. Listen, you try to make a chumble wumba joke and it backfires sometimes, all right? I'm just pissing the night away. Drinks a whiskey drink. He drinks a vodka drink. He drinks a lager drink. He drinks a cider drink. He sings the songs that remind him of the good times. He sings the songs that remind him of the better times. Whew. Couldn't we all just get along? The group feels inspired after managing to survive that situation. They feel like they're getting the hang of this. Choose a reward. We probably need morale. John could get plus two in mechanical, which would be good because our cars keep breaking down. Fitness mechanical or John plus two mechanical. Apex. Actually, Sab has mechanics, so she'd probably be doing a better job at that than John. Let's go with morale. Uh, Zombo points are only two more, and we can get the other uh, Zombo point upgrade. Every day is a great teacher as long as you don't get eaten. Everyone's morale goes up. Emil's fitness. Apex is mechanical. Sab's shooting, and John's mechan. John got mechanical anyway. Seems like our most pertinent mechanics didn't get the mechanical skill. If you ignore the zombie apocalypse, it's just like a regular road trip. The group is sitting around a campfire. Uh, finding this campsite was uh, was rough, so they're getting in, they're getting in a bad mood. The group eats a decent meal. Plan out the next day, or we could sing a song. Uh, this is an attitude check, and uh, meal and Apex aren't really aren't really good with that. So let's plan out tomorrow. Proton John plans the next day. It, uh, next day, it's a good use of time and helps them focus on the pic big picture. Someone turned tub thumping into a D and D spell. Incredible. Is he tired? He's not tired. The group loots at McDowell's, which is uh, which was the most popular restaurant in the United States before civilization fell. Even after all this time, the food here is still preserved due to all the chemicals. Warning: Burging is not great for your health, but won't kill you. Find and eat burgers, pay the burg price, or search uh, for kids' meals toys instead. We have three food left. Let's go for the kids' meal toys. We found a pukey ball! A pukey ball, go! 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 So you wanna be a Pokemon master? I don't remember all the lyrics to that song. I just remember it was very fast paced. Uh oh, are we still live? Game's locking up on me. 
Reese's Puffs. Reese's Puffs. Let me try a... Let me see if a little alt tab will help out with that. Yep. Okay. It worked. All right. John needs a weapon, and we don't have a lot of weapon. John, enjoy a plank of wood for the time being, and hope to God you don't die. Peanut butter chocolate flavor. I, every time, I can't stop thinking about the, uh, the Misery CPR Reese's Puffs, uh, mix. So let me be, and I'll set you free. Reese's Puffs! Reese's Puffs! Eat them up, beat them up, beat them up, beat them up! I want to do something with that when I get my, my VTuber model done. Where it's, uh... I don't know what I would assign to who, but it's the... It would be the Tom face, the VTuber model, and then me IRL. Ooh, hello, basement... We found the basement bargain bin! <laughs> and good news! There are grenades here! I hate that it auto-switches to the grenades! I'm gonna die! I did it again! I did it! I freaking did it! I knew it was gonna happen at least once! Scraping and licking from Greg Gregmanson saying, uh, this is interesting. You know what else is interesting? Grenades! Sounds like an RVB quote. Thank goodness we found a kitchen. I don't want to pay the Berg price because it does, um, it makes your character slower. That's why I didn't want to eat at McDowell's. Was there anything else in there? Was the fridge open? It was, okay. Apex is mad by the junk, so he threw the bed. Alright, out we go. Whoa! Oh, that's for Brooklyn Nine-Nine, okay. I've been seeing clips of that every now and again. I saw one recently where it was, um... I don't remember all the characters' names. Actually, I think the only character name I know is Holt. Because I remember that one clip where he's showing Andy Samberg's character the, um, uh, him doing the, uh, the, uh, hula hooping class. And then deleting the photos because, uh, no one's ever gonna believe him. Holt is the one who says the grenade- Really? Seems rather out of character for Holt. Because I don't know any of their names. I know them as Holt and then Am Andy Samberg's character, and that's it. Bingo! It's Holt, Andy Samberg's character, and one other, uh, one other woman. Where they're all drinking, uh, coffee. And, uh... Everybody around them is slowing down. Like, one guy comes up and is like, Stop! You're speeding up! That was Rosa, okay. I got a bingo somewhere. Phantom Azrael, thank you for the 50 months of tier one saying, Hey Tom, my wallet got stolen a few weeks ago and some old man poured this drink on me, but I'm glad you're live to make this, uh, live to make this bad day worse. Ever want to go back and replay, uh, Kingdom Hearts or play Hollow Knight? I should probably play Hollow Knight at some point. I want to play the original PlayStation 2 release of Kingdom Hearts, which I have. Because... It kills me how much got ret got changed in the uh, in the, the the newer releases of Kingdom Hearts. 
Sorry, I mistyped. Ah, it's all good. Medical supplies. Couldn't fit medical supplies into that stanza. Shoot a gun, and we're done. We should probably get out of here now. Oh god, where's the exit man? Alright, 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 alright. Get in the station wagon! Question, how do you have Chugga, John, and Apex as characters in this game? Is it a mod or base game? Base game! You can create your own characters in Death Road to Canada. See the new ban list for Master Duel? I was really hoping that, that uh, Aurora Donner or, uh, or um, Halky Fibrax would be on there. I would gladly give up, um, what's it called? I would gladly give up Electromite if, uh, if Halky Fibrax is on that ban list. But I know they, uh, they nerfed, um, uh, Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer a little bit. Uh, it gets late. There's no great place to camp. Solo zombies hob hobble around far in the distance. Uh, and one might sneak up on the group while they sleep. Who should stay up on watch? Who's got good loyalty? John has good loyalty. Oh, we don't have a lot of food. Remember fun? I remember fun. Man, I miss fun. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. A fancy factory, a city row with car. Which city row with car might be the best bet for me finding food. Let's do that. If you're interested in Kingdom Hearts, Dark Road is no longer a gotcha game. It is now a theater mode for Union Cross. And an offline game for the part of uh, of the game that Xehanort's SS backstory. Interesting. Canadian shenanigans. Uh, John's gonna rest. We have pretty good equipment right now. I am going to give Sab the board with a nail. The pukey ball is going to be in case of... Why do we keep doing these so late at night? You know which character I wish I had? Horse. Horse is the best character in this game. Even a flashlight because it got stolen. This place is a bust. Where's jo uh, Where's John? He's uh, he's resting in the car. Oh gods! I mean, run! I think that, uh, that Ouija board had, uh, had greater effects than I thought. This curse of- this string of bad luck is, uh, isn't spawning anything, uh, anything good for me. But, you know what, I bet there's an achievement for, uh, for beating it with the- with the curse of the Ouija board. So I'm gonna- I'm gonna maintain, uh, hope. resting in the car because he uh he stayed up all night last night i don't remember doing what but it was valuable for the group he was he was watching for zombies i still haven't found the keys to this stupid car it is getting late the music isn't even changing because it's just late at night anyway finding plenty of bullets though Oh god, this is a... Jesus, this is a big-ass room. I'm gonna get him killed. 
Oh, there are the keys. Bingo! I almost missed them. Uh, food! Delicious, nutritious food! It's dark as all hell. I don't know what I'm doing. We should probably get back to the car. You guys doing all right in there? Sab? Okay. Phew. Listen, I've, I've only left people behind like three or four times in my tenure of playing this game. Get in the car! Get in the car! Ah, uh, I missed a bingo! That gamer in shades like the 89 months of tier three! Thank you so much for that. Civilization gone? I mostly, I mostly just miss viral videos. Oh, it's Nintendo Capri Sun! I think we have a full group. Yep. We could abandon somebody to get the entirety of TRG in here, but we also have, um... So you'd have to get rid, rid of either Aphex or Sab. And Aphex has really been pulling his weight with combat, whereas Sab is our mechanic. And our medic, in a sense. Keep Seb. Here's the problem, though. Aphex is really good at combat! And I can't tell what Emil's stats are, so I don't know if he's going to be picking up the slack. Lose Aphex? Let's get a poll! Can one of the mods make a poll? Three options. Ditch Aphex, ditch, ditch Sab, or ditch Tim. So if you left John asleep in the car and then you got a new car, then he'd be left behind. True. Yeah, ditch Emil. Why not? <laughs> Seems like most people want me to ditch Aphex. All right. Who is leaving? Why'd you put Ditch Emil? <laughs> so, all right, the Ditch Emil option is Ditch Tim. We're not ditching Emil because the point was to bring TRG together to Canada. <laughs> Bingo! The crowd has spoken. Ditch Emil. I did say Ditch Emil at some point because someone in chat uh, said, uh, made it, made it funny. Two people voted for Sab. All right. Results are in. Goodbye, Aphex. The entirety of TRG either has to die together or make it to Canada. The group finds an isolated car garage. The sign says Master Tuners. They find some gas and a lot of spare parts in good condition. Could repair and tune up the car, but that would leave us with not a lot of food. How, how, and our, our car is fine anyway. I don't think I could ever get tired of canned meat. However, for the Splatoon 3 test fire, I don't know if I'll be able to play it. Uh, the group sets up camp late on a nearby highway. Uh, on nearby highways, a bunch of abandoned cars. They're broken, but many should still have a little bit of gas. Uh, send someone out to siphon the gas. Do I know who has what abilities? Uh, Nintendo Capri Sun keeps chewing gum. He's got fighter and practical. I'm going to have Tim uh, siphon the gas. His morale went down a lot, but he had a decent meal and it went back up. We did get a lot of gas for that as well. Whoa, it's Lindsay Jones! 
It's nice to see a familiar face. She hasn't seen the groupie and is really busy picking her nose. Anime fan and friend of dog. I, there wasn't a friend of cat option, so I couldn't... So that was the best I could do with that. Dish. In all caps, DITCH HER! Good, good god. Bye, Lindsay. You can tell how long ago I made these characters, because this was back when Lindsay had, uh, Lindsay had blonde hair. On the death row, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. A big office complex or a swarmed arcade. Cracker Valley, thank you for the 11 months of Prime. I don't know if the bingo went through, but I see it on the, on the thing. Cries and cat. <laughs> yeah, the office might have better food in the fridge. We are consistently low on food. Uh, let's get John to follow us, Tim to rest because he's, he's sleepy. He's sleeping because he's sleepy. Emil needs to pick up the, 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 nah, you know, I'll keep the baseball bat on him. It's the office. How many people have we gone through this trip? I feel like we're either at seven or eight. We had Cooley, uh, Cooley left. Uh, Adria, Cooley left. Adri died in a, in a chicken wing explosion. Dan left. Uh, we kicked Aphex out. This desk. Fully, I still had Apex. Having giant strength is so good in this game because you can just pick up anything. I found a single takeout box. Not dead. That's true. My head can is that you drove by in that car one time and shouted nerds at us. I think this is that same run. We're six days away from Canada. Uh, 100 bits from Garkinoff saying, We went through a lot of folks, seven or eight. We yelled at, zo we yelled at the zombies. Yo, Holmes, smell you later. That was in the style of... Uh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. This way, yes, we do. The office complex did have a bit of food for us. I'm hoping we find more. I can't, my wish was granted, guys. My wish was made within reason. Of RNGs, us. Ooh! Where's John? John, run. John, run. John, run. Shooting is so good, he got a ricochet. All right, well, that's everywhere in here. Time to make our way to the exit. Where's Tim? Hi uh, he's resting in the car because he's tired today. Uh, oh boy. As the group exp of, uh, explores a campsite, they're ambushed by bandits. They brandish makeshift weapons. They demand all of your weapons. This is ludicrous. Not even bandits would do this as it's a slow but sure death sentence. <laughs> hmm. We have 20 medical supplies. Hmm. Everybody, uh, Emil and Tim got the least of it. Group 
uh, sits around a campfire with a brutal day tomorrow uh, and eat a decent meal. If I tell scary stories, everybody's going to be tired, so I'm going to say no to that one. John is doing a good job attending wounds, though. He's our wound tender. The room finds a dentist's office. So, uh, finding some leftover medical supplies and many technical edible tubes of toothpaste, Sabai Ring goes to the waiting room and grabs a magazine from their sparse selection. The magazine is Glurge for the Sensitive Soul, Questionable Science, or Celebs News. Questionable Science! Woo! Science! Attitude went down, but morale went up. Sad by Reen feels pessimistic about the magazine's prediction of flying hover cars in a few years. Now civilization is more or less destroyed. It was a pretty entertaining magazine. We got food and medical for that. Another day's was the rations. These roads are awful. I don't uh, cars don't last long on them. Group continues making progress along the death road as uh, one, as long as one person remains alive. The uh, the dream of Canada lives on. Oh, we went to the farm. Hello, chainsaw lady. Tell her to cool. We can get five Molotovs for, or two Molotovs for five food. We have an egg. Very on brand. That's going to be equipped onto John when we have the chance for it. Uh, what's my bat and my cowboy rifle for one food a pop? Not worth it. There's a dog in here. Oh, man. this person snatched what was in here before I could get to it. They meet a meek-looking woman to, uh, who invites us to check out their uh, their rifles. There isn't enough food to buy any. Uh, to, be, to be friendly, the co collector gives you some free rifle ammo. We can't really do anything with the chicken. We don't have any food. I d yeah, I think she's going to shoot us if we do that. I don't think I can talk to her again. No, I can't. That goes away. Woof! I steal food and gas out of your stuff. We got a lot of food from this. The group runs into someone selling extra rifle ammo. Says she's frugal with ammo, often killing multiple zombies in one shot. She offers six rifle ammo for every food item we have. What about this husky looking pup? Woof! This one looks like a... It's probably a Great Dane, honestly. How long have we been going for? Two hours, okay. I have a hard cap at uh, at 9 p.m. Central Time. Still going by Central Time even though I'm in Connecticut because that's how I usually go by it. If you steal their guns, they can't shoot you. If you attempt to steal their guns, they will shoot you. in a city thick and hunting thick and hunting just sounds like a pub crawl <laughs> uh, Tim can wield his cleaver Everybody else is good. I should get rid of the frying pan. I should... Yeah, I'll get rid of the frying pan in a meal. Oh, this is our... Okay. Yeah, let's run. Wait, do I have a flashlight? Why am I projecting light? Nobody in my team has a flashlight. Where, is this, where am I projecting light from? Sewer run! Muppet. 
Which Muppet? I don't know. Probably, probably like, like Stat either Statler or Waldorf. One of those two. Probably Wal Waldorf. If he's the, if he's the one with the more square-shaped head. No, Statler had the, had the square shape head. Waldorf had the round head. No! <laughs> Nobody's holding the pukey ball right now. No. Ooh, if I had actually gave up my weapons, I, I would have had to give that up. Checking certain avenues here because sometimes you can get lucky and find. Well, there's always at least one. Usually, there's a there's one like alternate path in these sewers. And it almost always has supplies. There we go. This time we didn't get so lucky though, and Tim died. I guess we ran off a bit too quickly without him. Down. They feel inspired after that. How's our morale? We could we could stand to get some morale. Uh, we got we got the 15 zombo points we need. They did a good job fighting off those zombies. No kidding, I feel dead as. No kidding, I feel dead as it is. Do. <laughs> uh, tinker all night. Get her mechanic up because our car our car is probably about to break down. She is tired, so she will not be in the party for the next mission. Oh, everybody is tired! That ain't good! Okay. I have a stupid plan that is more than likely to get me killed. It's called, let two of my party members rest while Emil runs through the Yalmart trying to get as much food as he can. If I go alone, I don't have to worry as much about that. Cowboy rifle. We got some ammo here. Okay, so we have we have a little bit of uh, of good luck here. Try to grab some bullets, some food. Oh boy. I, I for some reason I just couldn't grab the food. Like I, I was like hitting the button. I'm like nothing's happening. Why is anything happening? There's clearly something on there. I can't grab the food. What's going on? And then I, I was like, I guess I gotta lean into it in order to grab it. Okay, anything in here? There's, there's some... I, I should not be in here. They've... They, like, all these zombies have my scent. Anything worthwhile in here? Not as far as I can see. Grab as much stuff as you can in here, Emil, and get the heck out. There's gas, there's medical. Are they piling up on the door yet? Nope. Oh, lordy, they are coming, though. South is my best option. Run, Emil! How am I doing? Oh, God! I died. I don't know how I did that. Ooh, look at that screen tearing. What happened to my V-Sync? There we go. I'm just gonna make for the exit. I got enough, I think. On Sugar Connor, he's got 113 gas, 17 food, five medical, and a bunch of bullets. We're good. Ha! 
black screen, but fixed. Wait, it, it, are we working now? Are we? The car is broken down from use and abuse. Sab? Damn. The problem is the, uh, it's a uh, the problem is it's a hybrid, so it's harder to fix. Uh, Sab, uh, while walking, Sab Irene stubs her toe badly. It's not a big deal, but it's really annoying. She swore. She probably swear. Refuse and fight. Four days if we had a car. Twelve food to pass safely. I mean, there's a possibility that Sab will die in this fight. They did not die. We still have a resident medic, so hopefully... Oh good, it's late at night and we're gonna go car shopping. John has our shotgun, okay. I think we're good, we just gotta make a, make a break for it. I should have given Emil his baseball bat back. Keep an eye out for errant glints in the cars. That means items and possible gasoline. Look at that! Possible gasoline! Possible exits include North, South, and Dennis. You guys got my back, right? Guys? Lord Almighty, please run. Get into the van. Dear Strongman, how can you type with boxing gloves on? Uh, the group spots a group of bandits they, that have set up a checkpoint on the road. Uh, someone from the, uh, the team could be sent to distract the bandits so the car could get through. It would have to be somebody trustworthy. Oh, wait. I remember this one. I think we could send somebody loyal out there, but if I think you send somebody uh, who's irritating, then they just uh, then they just get along really well together. If I send him, I could send a meal. He might die. I don't know what his loyalty is. I could send John to be safe, or I could send a meal and and try it out. It might kill a meal though. That might be a different event. I'll send John then. Proton John is sent to distract the bandits, uh, so uh, they leave their car checkpoint. Doesn't sell everyone out to the bandits. He distracts them and runs uh, from afar and runs. They give chase and the car is able to get past. John sneaks around the checkpoint later and rejoins everyone. Content move. The group sits up camp for the night on a quiet stretch of road and eats a decent meal. In the morning, there's a moose outside camp. It looks injured and is just glaring at the group. Even injured, a moose is still a really powerful creature. Probably best not to mess with it. Wrestle the moose, treat its injuries, or shoot the moose. If we shoot the moose, we get more food. I'm just gonna put that out there. Do you remember the time I tried to shoot the moose with no ammo and it just killed me? Oh, oh, the, uh, that's right. The irritating ones when you run to a blockade and the representative is also, uh, irritating. Uh, Emil could wrestle the moose, which would give him strength and possibly a, uh, a, uh, morale up. It could also kill him. I'm gonna food the moose. Shot the moose, got 12 food. I never liked all the mosquitoes in Florida anyway. The group meets another person just chilling at a park bench. He seems friendly. They have a conversation just like before the world ended. What's the topic? Advice exchange, pep talk, or cool cooling it? I, I, I feel like there was a missed opportunity in giving in uh, in not giving Cooley a trait that would uh, that would have her try to tell everybody to cool it. Do we really want to do cool it? Chuck Conroy interrupts a friendly survivor and sends us to tell him to cool it. He stares at Chuck Conroy without speaking until uh, without speaking until the group leaves. Everyone's morale goes down. <laughs> yeah, cool it with a K. Group 
drives into a new city, noises from the car have already started to draw the attention of the zombies. You can go to an office building or an apartment with a help banner. The apartment with the help banner might be good because we can get some supplies out of that one. Uh, I think we're, yeah, we're pretty good for now. I can't. God damn it. I can't see the, oh God, there was a zombie right there. I can't see the words, uh, help me without thinking of, um, that time in the Braun campaign where, <laughs> where Braun, Lawman's character was, uh, was, uh, in the middle of a void and just goes, help me. <laughs> that freaking killed me. It's been a, 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 like any campaign that me and Sai have been in, it's just been a long standing joke. New audio settings? Try, uh, try a, uh, 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 a setup away from home. Hanging out in the void with Jonah Hill. That's a really old joke. Oh, speaking of void, we have a void oven here. Jesus Christ, I did not know that would be right freaking there. He's got a fire poker. Emmett says he really wants to get out of this place. He asks if he could follow you around. You're literally just being a skeleton with no known health bar. Help! <laughs> that is exactly what, uh... I'm, st I'm... I'm... St like... I wish it could have gone on longer. Our, our campaign. Emmett started following John Conroy, but there's like... But like... The story that, that was being told in our group is one where it's like... So good. It's so good. The, uh, the, the rules really weren't on our side for a lot of that. I mean, we're like, we're, we're, we're still able to succeed, but sometimes we're just, like, good old, uh, old, old, old reliable from, uh, from, from Gloria. Booming Blade worked, like, twice out of the dozen times she used it. Remember that time I almost got Psy killed by uh by using dissonant whispers on a giant siege engine that just ran toward him? Cooley, was the campaign that you were in with Twinkle the Fox? Was that streamed? I wanna get context for that. I mention that every time it comes up, but it doesn't change the fact that it's my favorite song in the whole game. Tower of Arc, okay. If I remember correctly, it didn't have a proper ending, so... Hopefully I won't get too attached to the characters. Jeez them! You guys doing all right in there? Okay, I think we got everybody. I almost got a meal hit again. The, the Braun campaign had one of the most epic moments in any D&D game I've ever played. Where there was a boss that we weren't supposed to defeat, and uh. Why am I blanking on her name right now? Well, 
Well, we, we the way we defeated it was nuts. Monty, yes. Monty's character managed to keep it in place long enough for us to kill it because she kept using, um, she used all of her spell slots on suggestion to tell it to stay. And we just kept wailing on it. Who dat? Lucagen with the square butts raid. That sounds about right. <laughs> like three days outside of Canada. We got square butts. Thank you so much for the raid. I don't have my countermeasure set up, but thank you so much. We're playing some Death Road to Canada. I've gotten so many people killed already. But, you know, we're just doing our best. Dare I ask, what was Reese doing that, uh, that prompted square butts? Oh, yeah, Sab died to hot sauce in this game. It was a Spongebob commercial. Oh, she's doing re Retro React, okay. <laughs> the worst part is, is like that perfectly explains everything. We got a weird Burger King Spongebob ba Baby Got Back parody from the 2000s. That sounds about right. Thank you so much for all the subs coming out of here too. Liminality Carb, uh, Phantom S SVT, Red Cinder, and Largo at Dibs. Thank you so much for the subs. Uh, mechanic training or a stash of 10 medical? How are we doing on medical supplies? Uh, we... We have three injured. I'm gonna go for the mechanic training in case the car breaks down again. Everybody gets mechanical, and there's a little bit of a... Eh. Yeah, so to those of you who missed it, um... One of the prompts we got was that there was a... Tanker truck. We found a, an overturned tanker truck where the smell of uh, hot wings was coming from the valve on it. So we decided to open it, and it uh, it just blasted hot sauce at our group. Adri, being berserk, only had one HP, so she died. Uh, but the remainder of the group gained 16 food. So you're not at home? Where are you? I am in the, the the tiny state of Connecticut. Plenty of gas. What are we doing? Drive window, sleep, shoot, shoot golf balls at the zombies. I think that's a fitness check. I don't think John has very good fitness. Uh, I'm gonna say drive away with no sleep. Bingo! We'll be sleep deprived. Bingo! That actually might have been a really bad idea. Nacho Echo, thank you for getting to get tier one sub to nil. Uh, what is it? Nil. Nil Anitium. There's a giant, a giant fissure ero erupts in the road ahead. It's big, super big. The asphalt buckles. I hope this doesn't. Require if if I if I gun it hold on. Car speed is slow. If I gun it, it's gonna kill everybody. If I was in a muscle car, then yes, I would. Slam on the brakes. Chuck Conrad kicks over and slams on the brakes. The car careens out of control, hurling the misdirected semicircle and slams into a chunk of buckled road. The group seems alright, but the car is damaged. Should be fine, we got a mechanical. Everybody's fully healed. Uh, crowded, crowded, oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, I didn't mean to actually pick that, but... Here we are. Well, and here we are. All right. Same strat as last time. I'm not going to carry the gun in there this time. I'm going to run in with Emil's trusty frying pan. If I run in empty-handed, though, I could grab some other supplies. Let's see if the kite strategy is going to work for me again. If not, then con congratulations, Sab and John. You're going to be the only ones to make it to Canada. 
100 bits for, uh, 196 bits for Mega Dude 64 saying need to donate this weird bit amount to round up my bits. Been having fun, uh, been having fun on Death Row to Canada. Yes, I have. I'm gonna grab the rusty trusty frying pan. I wonder if the car can break the- Oh my god, they're all coming with me! I forgot to put them back! They might die. I might cry. And this really is not gonna fly. Give a bash and a smash. And I've got to keep two people alive now. Fortunately, John has a gun, so... Even if the horde size is big, it seems pretty sluggish, so we might be able to get away with quite a bit of stuff here. Oh, right, but everybody's tired because we drove off with no sleep. Forgot about that little factoid. just funnel them in here and try to take them out one at a time. Unless they funnel in like three at a time, in which case we might be a little bit screwed here. Fortunately, I picked up a gun, but no bullets. Fortunately, John has a shotgun. We've got medical supplies, so as long as I don't get completely overrun by zombies, we can take a few calculated risks here. I'm surprised none of these are a bathroom. It's not only a meal, it's tired, right? Are they just conserving their energy? I gotta remember to equip- oh no wait, Sab has a, an aluminum bat. I don't know if it's THE aluminum bat, but it's AN aluminum bat. Oh, okay! John, my boy, you doing okay up there? Okay. Oh, I wish he didn't fire that, because now he's attracted the- he's attracted the horde. Turlet. I don't want to go to the turlet. And another turlet. We're good. I've got all the supplies I need from this. We're out of here. Oh, jeez, say jeez him! Alright, well, we have plenty of medical supplies, so that works in our favor. I'm trying to think of where I picked up jeez St. Jeez him from. I remember it was um Poker Night the Inventory, Strong Bad says it. It's Steven George! It's nice to see a familiar face. He's fighting a single zombie that suddenly trips and falls down in an awkward mistake. He gets really embarrassed when he notices the group. Practical and gun collector. We got grandpa. Remember that one time I made Steven immortal? Just decides it's cool. With a, uh, the group gets a peaceful moment to rest in the safe house. No zombies in sight. With spare time, they decide to cool it, teach medical, or teach mechanical. Listen, I say we cool it. And the group spends time just chilling. Everyone's morale goes up. How do you make the curious look at your friends? There's a, there's a character creator in it. No food? At least I'll lose some uh, weight by the time I get to Canada. We have plenty of food, Sab. The group tries to loot a grocery store, but it's been picked cl absolutely clean. Sab finds a magazine rack and decides to grab one. She grabs uh, American Guns, Turnkey and Good to Go, Giant Farts Monthly, or Cat Video Pictures. Give us your cash! Greg Greg Manson with the 500 bits saying, just chilling and cooling our way to Canada. Well... We would have cooled our way to Canada if, if uh, if, uh, be, uh, we could have been, but, uh, I didn't, uh, budget Cooley Smiley's, uh, um, uh, morale well enough and she left the group. 
And and even after, uh, and even after Adri told her to say it, not spray it. Guns, turnkey, guns, guns, guns. People are saying guns. Funnily enough, Giant Farts Monthly raises your medical skill. I didn't know that. I figured cat videos is probably for morale or something. Let's go, guns. The, the magazine is full of uh, gun pictures, gun info, gun tips, and bizarre hyper-patriotic rants. Sab Irene absorbs all these things. Her composure decreases. But her shooting gets really good. Maybe we should slow down a little. An enormous army of undead shambles around the carnage that surrounds the border to Canada. Many have tried to get through. Most only succeed having their bodies added to the horde. Maybe your team will be different. This is the last chance to trade. Good luck. You have 36 fool fooled food left. Is that Jules? Family Jules is just hanging around. Let's see if we can't get some gas from Jeff Bridges. Uh... Okay, he's exchanging, uh, food for gas. This guy's got a mallet. <gasps> we have a rare cool it event. A triple exclamation point, a, a glowing triple exclamation point cool it. Sugar Conroy tells the blunt master to cool it. <laughs> she chuckles. Finally, someone who understands the importance of taking it easy. It's about time. The blunt master gives Sugar Conroy her best weapon, the Mega Mall. We've done it. We've cooled our way to victory. Uh. Worth wants to join the party for 10 food. Emil got a Mega Mall. What are you what are, what are you doing in here? Uh, this man is carrying several shotguns, most of them latched onto his back. He's uh he's booming at a simple yet uh, effective sales pitch. Shotguns for sale! Shotguns for sale! I don't think Emil's gonna tell the uh, the shotgun salesman to cool it. I feel like that would be suicide. The group discovers an unsettling and filthy van. It has a sign that says Easy Medical Pol College. Uh, hanging crookedly from the back door. Inside is an unsettling, filthy dude in overalls. Well, who wants to learn about surgery? Charm him. John gets free medical training. Only from DeVry University, I suppose. All right, that was pretty good. We got a Mega Mall out of it. I kind of wish we'd gotten some more stuff out of it, but... Is there anything else we could buy? Because this guy sells shotguns, but it takes a lot of our food to get that. And I would like to have the dexterity increase. I could sell some of my gas. How much shotgun ammo do I have? 38. I don't know if the auto shotty would be worth it for that. Bingo! I guess if we're getting that close to Canada, I could exchange some of my gas. Bingo, MPK674 uh, with the 17 months of tier one. Did I miss any subs or bits? Um, oh my God, Trisman, you're right. Here we have it. Uh, 100 bits from Trisman saying, here we have it, the legendary coconut mall. I'm going to go for the auto shoddy and maybe try to trade my food or trade my gas for food. Because we got plenty of it. We also got shot. We also got plenty of shotgun ammo because John is just so damn charming. Bingo! Uh, one eight seven seven gas for food. One eight seven seven gas for food. Donate your gas today. Met Wars with the fifty five months of Prime. Thank you very much for that. And this person buys weapons. All right. We need to do a little bit of. Arranging here. The auto shotgun. That is 100% going to Protonathan Jonathan. Uh, Emil's getting the Mega Mall. I'll have Emil with the Mega Mall and the grenade because I'm going to control Emil. So I. It, pretty much, if anything goes wrong in the last few things, I want to be respo the, the, uh, responsible for it. You can have the cowboy rifle. Actually, can we exchange? Hang on, let me check something here. 
I want to see if we can exchange our regular shotguns for food. Uh, I should give him the uh, the bat as well. Since we have the Mega Ball, we probably don't need the guitar. I wish we had one more... Oh, wait, we do have a pistol. Sab can carry the pistol. We have three cowboy rifles, which I think we could also sell. So let's sell some of this stuff. Or I, you know what? That's true. I should give John the egg. Well, I'm not giving him the egg yet because I'm trying to sell stuff first. Uh, sell shotgun. Sell shotgun. Switch over to... Let me check the boot again. Is there another pull? What do we got? Do you think Tom can control a meal? <laughs> clever. Very clever. Okay, so we have three cowboy rifles left. I'm gonna give one of them to Steven and keep sad with the Okay, so I'm gonna sell what I got here. Just trying to prepare. And also, if, if I can get more food, then I get uh, a dexterity increase when I, uh, when I, um, eat, uh, when I eat because we eat an extra meal. I'm gonna sell the electric guitar because we have the Mega Mall now. And I'll, I don't think anybody else in my group has the strength to really deal with that. Uh, to those of you that are gonna be, uh... Ooh, I don't want to do that. I want to switch over to Sab. I almost sold the aluminum bat. Sell the cowboy rifle. Okay. Just came in? Where is he? Oh, oh, where... <laughs> I'm sorry, that... That... <laughs> that message seemed like you're like a... You're like an angry mother trying to get their kid out of the ball pit or something. <laughs> Oh, they caught me so off guard. <laughs> how, okay, I didn't see how much food we had in the car. <laughs> Welcome, Riley Sim. Thank you, thank you for the first. <laughs> God, that. <laughs> <laughs> That's... <laughs> Ooh, boy. I'm gonna see if I can sell the fire poker. <laughs> Ball pit stream went. Oh, my goodness. Hey, who knows? Maybe Manatee would, would like a ball pit. <laughs> Where's the giant, Mansley? I've been watching clips of uh, the Iron Giant. It has one of my favorite scenes in any animated movie, uh, which is when, um, uh, what is it? Uh, when Hogarth is drinking coffee. When he's drinking the espresso. She thinks I'm not stimulated, but I'm stimulated enough, that's for sure. Because that was, um... That scene, if I recall, had so many keyframes in it that the director had to get involved with uh, with animating it. Giant armies of undead perpetually lurch around the Canadian border, unable to cross. Uh, the group gets caught up in the lesser swarm before they can find a safe camp. This actually isn't terrible. I'm gonna keep the equipment that we have. I'm gonna hope that John doesn't use all the shotgun ammo immediately. Actually, a gun... Do I know everybody's, like, stats? Sab actually has the best shooting, so maybe Sab should get the auto shotgun. Uh, 
only one who's really not uh, accustomed to using guns right now is a meal. Shotguns are better for people with low shooting. Okay. So maybe Mr. Steven Georg gets the shotgun then. I know, we had another pistol. Well, I couldn't sell it anyway. Uh, I'm going to store the pukey ball and give a meal a hatchet. Just in case, uh, just in case the mega ball doesn't quite work out. We are almost done. Uh, could one of my mods uh, uh, go to the movie night Discord and apologize for the fact that uh, movie night's going to be a bit late? Oh, this is not a grand area. Oh, they're using their guns already. All right, well, we could bunker down in here and see what else we could pick up. Alright, I switching weapons. Hatchet, please! Yep, they're using all the guns already. Oh, that ain't good. Why is the meal tired already? The Mega Ball must really take a lot of fitness to use. Imagine if they just gave you a massive area to, uh, to explore in one of these. It's like there's not that many zombies, but it's just still big and it's still considered a siege. Mega Ball's also super heavy, yeah. Okay, so I might have to reconsider what I... I'm definitely going to use the Pukey Ball in the, uh, the last area, but I wonder if it'll last for the four hours. It's an hour and a half siege, so this isn't too bad as long as they stop wasting all their ammo! Of course John's the one to pick up the hockey stick. I almost used a grenade by mistake. That would have been awful. Stab with the gun. All right, siege is over. Neat. Uh, we're done with Rainbow Six. <laughs> I like how John's weapon snapped. He immediately switched to the shotgun. I do not have the chainsaw. Let's head back to the road. Got everything we could there. We got some. We did get some more food. Actually, didn't need to sell as much as I thought I did. Uh. Yeah, we actually found some shotgun shells there too, I think. So our shock we we only lost two shotgun shells from that net total. The world really isn't so bad. Sure, it could use some improvements. Ooh, John could get faster run speed, which would be pretty good here. Also, a shooting increase would be good as well. Soup and pot. So, what's everyone's thoughts on the Pokemon Lotad? I think it's cute. I think it's a, it's a good. I think it's a good Pokemon design, honestly. Faster run speed or shooting? I'm thinking shooting, honestly. Also, Lotad is a lot bigger than people think he is. I think he'd make a great coffee table. I'm gonna go for shooting. Yeah, John actually has the worst shooting out of out of the bunch. Uh, everyone's morale goes up, our dexterity increased because we're able to eat a decent meal. Let's go. Four hour siege. Steven's gonna use the pukey ball and possibly use it immediately. John's gonna have the egg. I'll hold on to the grenades. And I really wish I could... Ooh! I I didn't realize. I didn't realize that if you give somebody two guns, it uh, they are able to carry more ammo. That could be useful.
On top of that, the final seed usually has uh, explosives anyway, so we'll see what we can do with this. <sighs> Let's go! Alright, the game doesn't think we're going to survive very well. Because it's giving us the, uh, the, uh, the abandoned car music. Don't worry, guys, we got medical supplies! Try to get as many of these folk out of here as- oh boy, as possible. All I need to do... Lot of ammo in here, wow. Gotta get in, get the ammo, and get out, because otherwise- Yep, we're screwed if we- if we stay in there too long. Sab! Sab, run! Damn! The good thing about the Mega Mall is I can hit lots of zombies at a time. So getting them together in groups like that is really good. So I kind of go in there, take a little bit of time, hit him, hit him a bit, and then run. We are going to have to start kiting here soon, though. They're already, they're already kind of going into, uh, into shotgun mode. I'm actually a little bit surprised Steven hasn't used the pukey ball yet. I should really be using the hatch instead. For now, at the very least. That was not a good throw. Keep kiting them. Okay. Swap meat. I can't trade with Steven right now because he's too far away. I still can't trade with Steven for some reason because he, he's in the middle of attacking and I can't trade with him to get the pukey ball. God damn it, I did it again. I don't know how I keep doing that. V-Sync off and V-Sync back on again. Black screen. It should start detecting the game any second now. There we go. Pukey ball, go! 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 Was it a dud? What happened? Oh, so we got a rat fighting with us. Oh god, run up, run up, run up, run up, run up, run up, run up! We leave anybody behind? No, we do have the rat though. We do have an attack rat. Pick your ball, go! 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 I don't know how long the Pokemon lasts for. I was hoping for something just a, a touch more powerful, maybe? Emil's really going at them with that Mega Ball. Emil's also the only one who doesn't have a gun. We're managing this pretty well, though. We still have a grenade left, too. Yeah, the... Oh, John released the chicken! Now we got the chicken and the Pokemon on our side. John has done what he was destined to do and gave them an egg. Where did John get a flashlight? Forty in-game minutes left. Is the rat still? Yeah, the rat's still with us. You guys remember Florin from when I played this with Children Company? Is that the chicken gone, or is that the, the that is is that the rat gone? That's the chicken gone. The rat stayed the entire time. Florin is a pig that you can get in this game, and you can't control him. Thank you, Ratata. Ever, everyone, everyone, chat say thank you, thank you. Oh, it's got to be copyright, uh, copyright inclusive. 
Uh, Ratatap. This is Ratatap. Sardine packed and mega cheesed. I'll have Emil lead the way on this one. We still have a grenade that we can use. Um. Thank you, Ratatap. Thank you, giant rat that makes all the rules. Oh, I love rat moody, uh, movie. Uh, John's got an auto shotgun. Steven's got his cowboy rifle. Emil's got a cowboy rifle as well in the Mega Mall. And Sab is John wicking it. And goodbye, car. Oh, we got a little bit of a scenario here with... Oh, Lord. Mega Cheese is an understatement! Alright, let's pile through. Pile on through. Pile arm dragon. I think we might want to gun the rest of the way through, honestly. Done it! We've crossed the bridge in Detroit and made it into Can- Oh Lord! Round the outside! Round the outside! Squaw! It's a boot time! Squaw! Squaw! Face off! Slap shot! <laughs> Face off! It's a boot time! Murp. Face off! Squaw! Yeah! Run back! Did I kill anybody with that grenade? Canadiator! Thank you. Oh, is there... Ah! Somebody died. Is anybody in my party? No, everyone's alive. 1950 bits from Gurganov saying, Azer Beam! Azer Beam! I just realized the smoke and the laser are shaped like maple leaves. Oh, the moose died. Got a can do it, do it. Congrats on making it to Canada. The Prime Minister himself makes the group honorary citizens of Canada as he welcomes them to the last remaining nation on Earth. Zombo points are full. Give her! We did lose. So we, this is the uh, we've beaten this uh, this mode four times, killed fifteen hundred and sixty-seven zombies. Even with bad luck, we made it. I saw a lot of familiar faces. Uh. Under bits from Greg Grandminson saying, "I have to go now. Canada needs me." Welcome to Canada. But what became of them in Canada? Let's be friends five ever. Sabarine actually shot her own foot within five minutes of entering Canada. Shot her own foot off. We did it! Proton John was eventually banned from driving cars after, just after destroying one every week. Can't believe I marched all the way here! Sugar Conroy wanted to become a moose. After getting food, uh, getting good grades in moose school, he, be, he, uh, he made this come true. I deserve a vacation. Stephen George shot a penguin by accident, violating can the Canadian Prime Directive. Chugga Conroy is now, canonically, a moose. Alright, with that, that's gonna be the stream. Maybe they'll run into Cooley there. Hopefully, hopefully. You did escape. You did indeed escape. Alright, let's switch back to intermission. Rum bump. And let me pull up the... There we go. Na -na 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 -na. Twitch.tv. Thank you all so much for joining me on this wild romp through Death Road to Canada. Oh, and perfect. Guys, it is Friday night. You know what that means? It means that one of the survivors who got to Canada is live right now.
do we want to tell Steven that he shot a penguin and ended up breaking Canadian law? Or do we want to tell him that Emil became a moose? Alright, we'll have two raid messages then. Emil became a moose. And Steven shot a penguin. We're gonna raid Steven George and his lovely wife Mallory. As they're currently playing through Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. One of them is playing one, the other is playing the other. Give him some of that Tommy's love, and I will see you all back here. Uh, unknown. Unknown. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing for streaming uh, over this weekend. I come back to Connecticut the evening of the 29th. And when I say the evening, I mean I'm going to be back at around, like, midnight. Um, so, uh, yeah. We'll see what I'll be doing then. See you all next time. Later.